Insert it into the middle pocket. See the reading die right down. And if you pull that back out, the reading is back. Hello, welcome. My name is uh, Patrick Vandenberg from GeoVital Academy. Um, this video is more aimed at uh, doctors and therapists, so we can talk a little bit more frank about some of the research involved in relationship to uh, mobile phones and, uh, and shielding of it. Um, those who have experience with GeoVital Academy uh, know that um, you know we've really mostly focused on um, you know I suppose what we do best: assessing homes, teaching other other doctors, therapists, and other. Uh, healthy home enthusiasts how to um, uh, do home assessments and consult on uh, radiation deflection and shielding um, and elimination. Um, we've never really gotten all excited about some of the gadgets that are available for mobile phones. Um, many of them aren't really worth anything um, using materials that may have a, be a benefit but using them in the wrong places uh, not really getting any results or getting any, any benefit. Playing on the fear that people have for mobile phones and even though that, that fear is justified um, the solutions aren't always. Um, so we haven't really gotten involved with it that much because there was nothing really we, could, we would get excited about. Um, however, that uh, that changed a little bit. We've uh, got a mobile phone pouch that uh, we make in Austria, and uh, I think that's worth uh, your attention. Uh, now we know that there's plenty of research available um, when it comes to mobile phones and uh, effects to health. Uh, of course, there's an equal amount of research that shows that there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So everybody just have to has to make up their own mind. Um, however, there's research linking um, um, behavioral changes in children to mobile phone use. Um, high frequency radiation, of course, linked to you know, more damaging the finer organs like eyes and brain. Um, mobile phones increasing blood pressure. Um, and that, I suppose, just opens the whole debate if you know, possibly the sympathetic nervous system is constantly being triggered by electronic pollution and radiation and um, as you know that would slow down digestion and that theory could certainly uh, explain why so many uh, people in modern cultures um, are having these nutritional deficiencies maybe our parasympathetic nervous sorry our sympathetic nervous system is being continuously triggered when it comes to this uh, mobile phone pouch I just uh, I'll show you what the idea behind it is the mobile phone has um, Two, um, two pockets really. It has an internal pocket on the inside and a front pocket. The inside pocket is shielded on both sides with the shielding material. The same material, the same technology or same idea is used in our mash that we have available for people that are building a new home. By putting this mash into the walls you can shield from high frequency radiation. I always advise people to go for a sheet metal roof because that already deflects high frequency radiation away. That's the largest surface of your house. Um, but a similar technology as that mesh is used in this fabric here. And it's actually that good that you can demonstrate this to others that it, it actually works. If you grab a mobile phone, insert it into the main pocket that's shielded on both sides, you fold this over and if you like you can use a little um, band to secure the pocket in place your mobile phone or most mobile phones would lose their signal uh, within a minute um, or faster great for if you're in a conference when somebody's attending classes or sports or school whatever the reason if you don't want to be disturbed you can stick it in that middle pocket and it loses signal 
Now for the times that you do want to be available, that's where you would insert the mobile phone inside the outside pocket. So now you've got a decent layer of shielding material on the back of your phone and you've got non-shielded material on the front. So the phone's still able to acquire a signal and you're still able to get calls and messages. Now I'm hoping that the picture is starting to come together that if you have to carry your mobile phone on you, if you could insert the mobile phone with the shielding fabric between you and the phone, now you're being shielded against high frequency radiation to your uh, to your phone. You know, not all of it, but a good chunk. If you know wearing it inside the pockets of the pants or the back pockets, um, place that shielding material between you and the phone to uh, to dramatically uh, reduce that exposure. Great. So if you take this one step further, if you receive a call, you know you'd answer the call uh, such and such. Now insert the phone with the speaker towards the shielded fabric inside the outer pocket and you are now able to answer that call with a decent amount of proper shielding between you and the phone. Um, so brilliant little, idea, brilliant little idea. The inside fabric has actually got 23% uh, silver in it and uh, it's just a nice attractive looking uh, pouch. Now just to show you a bit of how this uh, works when looking at a, uh, an instrument, I've got our EMF spy here that's set to the sensitivity of nerve cells. Um, so the green ends at uh, 100 uh, microwatts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on, it'll make radiation audible as well. Um, so that you'll hear on the speaker. I will make this phone, it you know, has a data connection as well, so it could already be emitting a lot of radiation as, we, as we're sitting here, but I'll make it call voicemail, just so that it's on a call. I'll then insert it into the middle pocket, a doubly shielded pocket, and we'll see how that affects the, uh, the reading on the uh, EMF spy. Okay, so we'll power this up. So that's now well and truly on the call. See the reading there, off the scale, and now it's in the pocket. Let's do that again. Okay, it's on the call. What I'll do, I'll turn the screen off. Insert it into the middle pocket. See the reading die right down. And if you pull that back out, the reading is back. There you go, how good is that? Okay, so um, now those who have dealt with us in the past, um, I, I dare say we've got a, a reputation for being uh, frank and honest with our, our shielding and trying to educate people on how to do things properly. Um, I um, should point out to you that a mobile phone produces two types of radiation. It produces uh, high frequency radiation, how it talks and communicates uh, with the towers, but it also produces low frequency electromagnetic fields. Uh, it's an electrical appliance, so that's part and parcel. Um, low frequency electromagnetic fields you can't shield against. So even though this pouch is wonderful for capping that high frequency radiation, which in a way is most fastidious, low frequency electromagnetic field can be shielded against. And I can show you that as well. And you know, I'm, I'm sure in all those wonderful products that are out there, nobody's ever pointed it out to anybody. Um, I'll just make this go on another call. This is a shocking phone. All right, so we've got a nice high reading, you know, between six and. 100 milligauss, it uh, flicks around. Yeah. Now I can stick, I'll just turn the screen off, stick it in the pouch. Now even with the pouch in place, you see that reading is still there. Yeah, it's, it might have gone off call. No, no, there it is back. Yeah. Now it's gone off call. So, even though this is a wonderful product and can really help with high frequency electromagnetic field, low frequency electromagnetic field is still present. Okay, so it's still not a good idea to keep your mobile phone in your pocket when you don't have to. It's still not a good idea to have it anywhere on your body. Try and get as much distance between your mobile phone and you as you can. 
please advise your patients. Um, you know, we, we'd hope you'd order one from us and you have a bit of an experiment for yourself. If it makes sense, we'd love you to advise it to your clients. Um, but you know, do advise people that you know this is a, yeah, a wonderful device, a wonderful tool, great help. But there's still other frequencies or other you know, radiation at play, and it's still not good for them to have a, their mobile phone in their pockets. So, um, yeah, I think this uh, this was a good demonstration. I think you'll agree. So um, I'll I'll leave it at that for the moment. If we can be of any assistance um, when it comes to doing home assessments, uh, GeoVital Academy is expanding its network, um, you know, around the world um, um, at a steady pace. Um, if you're viewing this from overseas, um, you know, we are looking to set up um, geovital distributorships, especially people that have an interest in, in holistic health that would work in well with. Um, and we are expanding our network of assessors as well uh, around the country, Australia, and of course we've got many in Europe. Um, so if we can uh, do an assessment either for yourself to show you what we're completely on about, um, or for patients, uh, we'd be uh, delighted to, uh, to assist you. Right. Thank you very much for your attention and good luck.